In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a new catalogue in Capture One and import some photos into it, and have a brief look at organising them. I'll start out with importing some photos that are already on my computer. Then I will import from a memory card to my hard drive and directly into Capture One in one action. Let's start by creating a new catalogue. If you already have a catalogue open in Capture One, that's fine, as we can easily make additional catalogues from the file menu here. I'll make a new catalogue in a folder in my Pictures folder, and call it 2022 Catalogue. This creates a Capture One catalogue file for this particular catalogue, we can see it here. First, let's find some photos on my computer, click on Import here. For the next import you do, you'll find the import icon up here in the top left. Choose where you want to import your photos from. I'd like to import the photos in all these folders. Right now, I can't see any photos until I check on include subfolders. By default, no photos will be picked to be imported. If you'd like to pick them all, tick this box. And don't worry, when we import in a moment from a memory card, I'll show you how to make a quick selection of just some of the photos. Unless you want to make copies of your photos somewhere else on your hard drive, make sure that Add to Catalog is shown. This will leave your photos where they are and simply add them to the catalogue. Click on Import All to start the import process. As soon as the import process starts, you can begin to work on your photos. Don't feel that you need to wait for the import process to complete. Your last 10 imports can be found within Recent Imports. Capture One also shows the physical location of the photos on your computer within folders. One benefit of a catalogue is the ability to organise your photos within user collections. Here you can create collections of photos with albums and smart albums, and organise them within groups and projects. Let's take a look at this and create a new album, I'll call it Iceland. To make it a bit more organised, let's create a group and call it Travels. And move the Iceland album inside that. Now we can take the photos from recent imports, select them all by pressing Command or Control plus A, and move them into the Iceland album. Note that the same photo can be in multiple albums if needed since albums are virtual and only exist inside Capture One. Now I have some photos on a memory card I would like to import into my catalogue. They are from another travel in England, and I might not want to import all of these. Before we import, let's prepare an album within the Travels group for those photos. I'll right click on Travels, and choose New Album. Notice that I've selected the empty album too. This way I can instruct the importer to automatically add the photos to this album during my import. Let's insert my memory card into my card reader. Capture One will automatically open the importer. If it doesn't, simply click the import icon on the toolbar and locate the memory card. Because the photos need to be physically copied from card to hard drive, I'll choose copy to folder and create a new folder on the hard drive. Let's put it in the same folder as my Iceland photos and call it England. And set that as the import folder. The photos I have on my memory card are spanning a couple of days. I often like to organise them by date. I can do that automatically by choosing what's called a token here. I'll filter to date based token so it's easier to locate the one I need. And I'll use image date and change the format to the one I prefer. 
Since I selected the England album in my catalogue, I can add the photos directly to that album by choosing Selected Album in Collection. To help me decide which of the photos I'd like to import, I'd like to look at them larger to judge focus and content more accurately. To do so, click the viewer icon here. Now I can better view each photo directly from the memory card at high speed with no loading time when I switch between each photo. Use the cursor keys to switch back and forth. Use the spacebar to toggle the pick state. The currently selected photo is always positioned in the center of the browser, so you can see what photos are coming up next, if you have a few similar photos in a sequence. I'm happy with my selection, so I'll start the import process. The photos are now being imported to my catalog and added to the collection at the same time. I'll right click on one of the photos and choose show in library. Here you can see the photos have been automatically placed into their folders based on their date of capture.